My name is Yang Shaohorn. I'm JR East Professor of Engineering at MIT. I'm in the Department of Mechanical Engineering and Material Science Engineering, also affiliated with the Research Laboratory of Electronics. Uh, what we do uh, is to uh, understand and control processes uh, related to chemical physics or physical chemistry to convert uh, chemical energy to electrical energy, uh, which uh, are essential to electrochemical energy technologies, uh, which are very important to decarbonize our energy infrastructure. So we work with uh, uh, students and postdocs as well as uh, industrial sponsors in developing uh, advanced uh, battery technologies as well as uh, uh, hydrogen-based energy solutions uh, in order to decarbonize transportation, uh, buildings, uh, power, uh, as well as uh, chemical industrial uh, processes. I was born and raised in Beijing, China, and uh, um, was not really sure uh, what I want to do in life or science or engineering. Um, I came here like many other students back then in China to pursue advanced degrees. And uh, I really where I went to Michigan Tech where I pursued my uh, essentially PhD in metallurgical materials engineering. Uh, I became interested and in fell in love with uh, research. Uh, I really enjoy open-ended problems and I never thought about uh, pursuing academic positions. So after graduation I went to industry, uh, worked at Energizer for um, a couple years and uh, afterwards uh, I really didn't see a path in industry so I took a postdoc in Bordeaux, France in condensed matter chemistry lab and uh, afterwards I applied uh, for faculty position and joined MIT uh, about 20 years ago. When I joined MIT, that was during the years we were pushed for hydrogen economy, so where I learned about fuel cells, fuel cell technologies with GM. The GM scientists got into uh, really um, the science as well as engineering of a catalyst. And today is still a big component that what we do is catalyst design, understanding processes at interfaces, right surfaces, and controlling bond formation, bond breaking, looking at ion transfer, electron transfer at such an interface, which are essentially central to any of electrochemical processes or electrochemical science or, or technology. So I work on, you know, perhaps our research can be uh, separated into two areas in general, well, generally speaking. So one is electrification, right? So it's looking at uh, ways we can store energy uh, in closed systems and typically uh, our uh, secondary batteries, right? So lithium ion batteries and uh, how we can uh, develop uh, better electrolyte, uh, enhance stability between electrolyte and electrode so that we can essentially store more energy per unit weight, per unit volume, uh, how we can stabilize that interface so we might be able to use a lithium metal instead of graphite so that we can potentially double its energy density which are, are key to develop a technology or energy storage solutions for aviation, for example. Uh, the other uh, area that we work on is uh, chemical transformation or in other ways generating uh, energy carriers using electricity from solar or wind. Can we store that electricity from solar or wind in chemical form such as you know, reducing water to generate hydrogen or reduce nitrogen to make ammonia or reducing metal oxide to generate metals? as an energy carrier, right? And how to make the process much more uh, efficient. And we're looking at uh, catalyst or catalyst electrolyte interface, how to control ion electron uh, transfer processes to enhance the efficiency uh, of such a processes, which can essentially lead to energy solutions uh, for buildings, Right, uh, and lead to uh, energy solutions where we can essentially displace the use of fossil 
uh, fuel, uh, either in terms of heat or in terms of electricity uh, in our buildings, as well as in our chemical industrial processes.